uh, today in this video we're going to be looking into uh, what are the different uh, things available for the the task manager related stuff uh, in Linux Ubuntu so for that if you really want to know like what are the different processes uh, which are running on your computer uh, there like the one way to do it using the command line uh, I just clicked Control alt t in order to open the terminal and then uh, the next one is like if you want to know what are the different processes running you will just say PSAUX and hit enter and it's gonna show you uh, different processes running and their PIDs and the related stuff so the PID are these numbers and the CPU is this one and uh, like when did it start all those kind of things and who owns the process who actually which user actually started the project uh, process so as an example if I open this one uh, like the text editor it's called the Garrett uh, G-E-D-I-T uh, inside the uh, Ubuntu so if I run this command again AUX and I should be able to um, find that so okay and if you are not able to see the process one other way of doing it is like you do, do the same command AUX and then you say pipe and then you grep uh, if you know the name of the, the software so you can actually see it should be somewhere here which I cannot spot right now but like <coughs> uh, you can see the process PID here so either by going through the list and finding the process you wanna basically I will I will normally do it I will come here when I wanted to get I wanna uh, I want to shut a process right I want to shut it down and that's why I'm looking for a process or at least I can do some other troubleshooting like who started this project when did it start is it really running or in the background or not those kind of things so if you have the uh, the PID here what you would do is like if I really wanna wanna shut it down uh, so it's right here so when I what I would do is like I will say sudo uh, kill minus 9 and then the process ID right and I didn't have to do the sudo at the, for this one because uh, I I started it like as a as a regular user so you don't have to uh, like say sudo when you when you actually initiated the process that is how I would do it in, in the command line another way of doing it using the the GUI is actually the name of the software is called the gnome uh, system monitor so either you can start it from the terminal or uh, you can go to all applications and look for system monitor so this is a little bit more similar to what we see in Windows uh, we have the processes here we can actually select a process right click it and end it kill it continue stop those kind of things we can go through the properties and see uh, who like what are the different properties and that kind of stuff so that would be another way of it, it is using showing you the user CPU ID monitor uh, memory and all those things what else uh, yeah and, and the other thing is if you don't have it right so you would say sudo apt get install gnome system monitor and that would do it right now I already have it so it's just gonna say that it didn't upgrade anything it didn't install a new any new software that how you would uh, like that's how we have like uh, something similar to uh, what do you call it? a task manager what we have in, in Windows this is how we uh, look at the different tasks running on on our computer 
and uh, like how we can kill it, stop it, and do other things with the with those tasks or processes.